Okay, so for this question, I will be using uh, this question to show how are you going to plot on graph paper. So if you look at this question, the question needs you to plot. So remember what is plot? Plot means you're going to mark out four coordinates. So we mark out with a cross. But if you look at this graph paper provided to you, the x-axis and the y-axis is not provided. So you need to learn how to you draw. Okay, so the, the thing uh, about how do you start drawing, you observe the all the x coordinate first. So I'm going to get you to observe all the x coordinate. Okay, so what are you observing? You're going to observe what is the biggest and what's the smallest x coordinate. So if you look at the four x coordinate, the biggest one is five. And then the smallest is minus two. So I will be using this inequality sign to illustrate that this is the smallest x and then this is the biggest x that you will need. So once you identify the smallest x and the biggest x, uh, we need to change change now. We got to identify the smallest y and the biggest y. So look at the y coordinate. The smallest y will be minus 2. The biggest x, uh, biggest y will be 3. So later on when you draw, you make sure that your horizontal is enough from minus 2 to 5. So you must make sure your x-axis, your x-axis must be sufficient. And then you also must make sure your y-axis is sufficient from minus 2 to 3. Okay. The next thing will be I need to explain the graph paper. Uh, so for standard graph paper, if you look at this uh, five liter square here, so this five liter square uh, will be one centimeter. If you take out your ruler, go and measure five liter square. So you should be able to see five liter square. So this five liter square is one centimeter. Okay. So if you got 10 liter square, you will be two centimeter. So you should be able to, to see measure five square for one centimeter and then 10 square for two centimeter. So why is that so? Because in your exam question, you will be, they will tell you how do you represent. So for example, here, uh, I will tell you one centimeter to one unit. Okay, so maybe make things easier first. And then here, maybe I show you two centimeter to one unit. Okay, so I show the x-axis first. So I show the x-axis, so just draw somewhere a horizontal line. <laughs> x-axis is a horizontal line. So if this is the first time, you might find that a bit difficult to understand or it's very different from the algebra that you have done. So this is the x-axis. So what do we mean by one centimeter, one unit? It means that every five square is one unit. So for example, I'm going to draw the line a bit. That's the first. So every five square will be one unit. So and I need to start from the smallest. So that's what I'm going to do. This is minus two. So every five square is going to be one unit. So that's the meaning of it. So every five square is going to be one unit. So that will be every five square. So when they say one centimeter, one unit, it means every five square will give you one unit. And in our case, we will need it for minus two to five. Okay, so for the y-axis is two centimeter, one unit. Two centimeter means 10 square. And I need it from minus two to 
two, three. So that's my y axis. Okay, so we got to count out 10 square. So 10 square is one unit. So every 10 square is one unit. So every 10 square is one unit and I will need it from minus two to three. So I need a minus one and I will need a minus two. So that's how I will draw, draw the axis. Uh, sometimes both axes will have the same scale. This is called scale. Uh, sometimes uh, both axes can have different scale. So you, by following the scale and also you need to indicate the X and Y, you will get uh, the basic drawing marks. Okay, then you will need to plot. So I'm going to leave the plotting to you. And then you join them and see what is the shape that you come out, that, that you manage to come out with. Okay, so that is the idea of a uh, draft graph paper. So you can be asked for a piece of graph paper to do all this. 